Once upon a time, I wore fashion shoes for work every day. And when I exercised, I wore a 12 millimeter cushioned running trainer. And then I once bought a beautiful pair of leather brogues and they were just a little bit too small, but they looked great. So I still wore them every day. And after a couple of weeks, I realized that I was starting to get a bunion where my toes were being squashed together and I didn't want old lady feet. So that's where my barefoot journey began. And if you're wanting to see a video about the benefits that I've experienced from being exclusive barefoot for three years, then I'll link that video up here. So I started my barefoot journey in 2014, that was seven years ago now, with my ultimate goal, just living an exclusively barefoot life. And it's only now that I'm able to run, hike, and just live every day in barefoot shoes. So here are my tips for transitioning to barefoot style shoes. Go slow. It took me seven years to transition from a 12 millimeter cushioned running shoe down to a zero drop barefoot style shoe and I've seen some other people that have done it way quicker just in a few months but I suppose it depends on certain circumstances things like what shoes you already wear whether you do big distances each week whether you're barefoot at home and things like whether you walk or run on tarmac or trails already but the key is to take it slow it's easy to get excited and carried away when your new barefoot shoes arrive and you're just keen to get started on your new way of living. But if you do too much too soon, this will happen. What you doing creeping around LT? Well, I'll tell you why I'm creeping, because I can't walk. Or even worse, you'll get injured. Trust me, it's happened to me. Barefoot at home. A great place to start your transition is being barefoot at home. Whether that means you're completely barefoot or wearing your new barefoot shoes. I've got a pair of basic barefoot shoes that I wear as slippers, so that could be a good place to start. I've also got a pair of slip-on outdoor shoes by the door for when I need to pop to the shops or nip out. Little and often is key. Another way to adapt and get your feet primed is if you use a standing desk, then go barefoot at your desk. After a few hours, it feels like your feet have done a really good workout. Increase distance gradually. Whether you're a runner, a walker, a hiker or a stroller, increase the time in your barefoot shoes gradually. And this could mean covering one kilometre in your barefoot shoes and then swapping and changing into your regular shoes to complete the distance. And I know it's a bit of a nuisance taking a couple of pair of shoes on a run or a walk, but if you do too much too soon, then you are quite likely to get injured or if not injured, then you're gonna wake up in quite a lot of pain the next day. Each week or each fortnight, then increase the distance or the time that you're wearing your barefoot shoes. And over a few weeks, a few months, you'll soon be able to do a loop wearing just barefoot shoes. If you're wanting to run in barefoot style shoes and you're a heel striker, then bear in mind that you will need to change your running style. So there's lots of videos here on YouTube about running barefoot style. So take your time, educate yourself. It's a lot for your body to take in and to adapt to. So just go slow. As I stand editing this video, I've just remembered. So from going from 12 mil down to zero, I took three mil off each year. That was a con conscious decision. I went from 12 to nine to six to three to zero. So that process was four years. And then for the last three years, I've been totally barefoot. Exercise. Another helpful way to transition to barefoot shoes is by wearing them when you do your workouts. And as long as the workout isn't too jumpy or too springy, then it's a great way to get your feet trained and primed for barefoot. Body weight and kettlebell workouts, especially single limb workouts, are great for a healthy transition, helping activate the feet to regain strength and balance. Self-care. When I first transitioned to barefoot, my feet got really achy and I could feel all the muscles starting to wake up. And I remember getting a tingly feeling in the arch of my foot. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. But just like the rest of my body, I needed to do some self-care on my feet. So if you get any niggles or pains, then I'd say deal with them straight away, whether that be using a roller, a ball or a foam roller. 
and if you get achy chances are the muscles and the fascia have got tight a massage will help release the tension and prevent injury and then if you get in pain then take some time away from being barefoot go back to your regular shoes and just let your body adapt toe stretches I didn't use toe stretchers for my transition because I didn't know that they was a thing but I have read that other people have used them and that it has helped. I was going to buy a pair in a bid to get my big toe in the right position but instead I do this. After three years of being totally barefoot my feet are still adapting and I don't think that toe stretchers are an essential part of transitioning to barefoot but they may well help. And if you don't want to buy a pair then exercises like this and the elastic band trick is good enough. And again, using something like this, use it slowly. I remember having a pair of Vibram five fingers and the first day I got them, I was so excited. I put them on and I did a massive walk and through my big toe and my little toe being stretched outside of where they usually sit, I had excruciating pain all through my feet where the tendons and the ligaments were being stretched. It honestly felt like hot daggers in my foot. So anything like barefoot or toe stretchers, just take it easy and go slow. Go slow, be patient. No, it may take months. It took me seven years, but the rewards will be worth it. There are lots of barefoot shoe style brands available and I personally like Vivo Barefoot. I've been wearing them for years. And if you are wanting to buy a pair of Vivos, then I have put a link in the description box along with a discount code.